following video shows the effect of emotional deprivation and neglect on babies. Favorable Family Conditions Emmanuel, raised by his family, is an active explorer and eager to grab any new object he sees. He moves it from hand to hand and brings it up to his mouth for example. He is completely absorbed by the activity and pays little attention to those around him. Christine, who regularly attends a nursery, does not behave much differently. She handles the block with both hands. tries to stack them, and picks them up when they fall. She too is totally absorbed by the game. These two examples show us children whose families offer them complete security. On the other hand, when family conditions are unfavorable to the point of requiring a child's removal from the home, the child's behavior will be affected as follows. Institutionalized children Caroline, a victim of maternal neglect, is anorexic. She picks up one of the blocks, but shows only fleeting interest in playing. She frequently looks at the experimenters in the room. She engages in some play, but is preoccupied by those around her. In the next cases, we also see increased attention paid by the child to his environment and a correlating decrease in attention paid to the game. For example, Veronique, who is also anorexic, expresses refusal by raising her hands in an avoidance gesture. When she finally picks up a block, the worried looks she casts suggest anxiety. Her demeanor is passive, she does not play. Jean, who was removed from her home at a young age and institutionalized after several failed foster placements, carefully watches the movements of the psychologist. An emotionally deprived child may prioritize social contact, which could be motivated by the child's intense desire to find a maternal substitute. Her curiosity in new objects is minimal. She accepts without resistance when the block is placed in her hand, but shows no real interest. Rene, whose case is similar, sits motionless in front of the blocks. After a while, he makes a motion for the block, but is plagued by such anxiety that little by little he becomes totally disinterested in the game and those around him. He withdraws into himself and take refuge in the self-soothing activity of thumb-sucking. Annette who is also anorexic, has an attitude of immobility. She is completely disinterested in her surroundings.
her growing anxiety manifests by twitching lip movements and irregular breathing. Autism can be discerned from the vague gaze of this little girl. Here we see Colette, also deprived of affection and care, showing the same symptoms of autism and anxiety. She remains still and breathes heavily. Thus, emotional deprivation provokes not only the anxiety that is well known to psychologists, but also inhibits the child's exploratory instincts and curiosity in new objects, and may result in autism in the most serious cases.